Yo, what is going on, guys? Today I am bringing you the new episode of the Deca Street. There have been some changes that I want to talk about, but first off, we start this game going up 2-1 against our first game in our HUT series. And I just want to talk about a few things, obviously, in this. Is that A, there have been a rule change. B, my Elgato has serious problems, as you can see in this game. I think I fixed it, but sadly for this game, there have been some serious problems. There's glitches everywhere. Goals haven't been shown. Just some serious problems. So again, I'm really sorry for that. But this is our first game. And now, I want to talk about the rules. So the rules originally were, if a player ran out of a contract, he was done from the team. And some people really liked it. A lot of people really liked it, to be honest. There were also a lot of comments saying if you pull an Ovechkin you're only going to be able to use him for like seven games. People said they really enjoyed the first series of the Deca Street in NHL 14 where I had the point system. A lot of people said can you please go back to the point system. So I did a straw poll on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter please go do so. And I got over like 20 people saying they'd rather prefer me doing the point system and I got like only six saying they prefer the contract and there's like four or something like that that said they'd rather me do something other but I didn't know what that meant because I just wrote other and just just writing it there. I forgot people can't really comment, so I had no clue. So basically, it was like doubled or almost tripled that people would rather see me do the point system. And if you guys don't know what the point system is, it's basically that every game I win in HUT, you get one point, and you could collect these points and use them to get like six points overall or just whatever. And these points basically just mean upgrades. So let's say I get one point and I have an 80 overall. I win a HUT game, I get the one point. I could use that one point to make the 80 overall become an 81 overall. That not doesn't mean just like add a consumable on them. I mean like change the player out. Or you could use, let's say you get eight wins doesn't have to be back to back you can get like a few points here a few points there but let's say i have eight points all together in my account you could use those eight points to make an 80 become an 88 or you could use like six of them become an 86 and then use the other two on a different player it doesn't have to be all on one doesn't have to be all at the same time just every point you get which you get from a win you could use to upgrade a player and the main goal of this series is to make my hut team the best it can be have the best overalls on the team the best players on the team maybe do some other things here and there challenges as well to get more points this and that as well as if you guys have any other ideas you want to see me bring this obviously i don't want to completely change the series up too much so if you guys have this idea that's like you gotta win while playing backwards you gotta win while being on your roof yeah these things are not gonna work for the series if you guys have some minor things please tell me in the comment section below and i'll be like happy to read and see what i think about them anyway if you guys haven't been watching we did end up winning the first game so we got a point there as well as winning the second game which just ended there and we're moving on to the third game the third game was pretty easy in my opinion but i need to work on a few things i gotta work on my defense i gotta work on my stupid goalie problem problem that I always have every year just throw the puck out and this year it's a lot worse especially with my defense they've been really bad especially that guy right there Dion Phaneuf his shot is unreal as you can see gets two goals in one game but his defense and just positioning has just been really bad for me lately another thing I want to talk about is I'm sorry that the first episode came up there was no gameplay and the second episode took a few days I've been working the market so much I made so many coins already I haven't been playing this at all I've been playing ESHL mainly and again just working the market that's about it I need to start playing more games I was just I was frustrated because I didn't know what I want to do for my series the contract thing was finally something pretty good but I was getting a lot of comments people not wanting me to do that so I decided to just see what people thought I did the straw poll mainly there was the point system so we're gonna go with that we're up 5-1 this game and we are going to be up 6-1 but yes anyway we did end up getting the first two points so we could have upgraded someone for two points or upgraded two guys one point a piece we did not end up doing that we're just going to take the points and we're going to leave them on our account and see what we want to do later we end up winning this game as well therefore we have three points on our account we're going to open some packs with these with our coins that we have and we're going to pull a jeff carter if, if you did not see my pack opening then you did not know we pulled a jeff carter but i just want to show you guys this i know it's, people might be like well, i already saw this but i just want to show you guys this from my hut series that we did end up pulling a jeff carter he really helped our team value wise basically just have more coins and for our fourth game we're going to go up against a canadian fan called canada a this guy was very good he was a very good player it's showing that my team is not too great because obviously I have some pretty good players on my team. Goudreau is a really, really fast player. Forsberg is a pretty good player. But having your third and fourth line, ugh, your fourth line of Nolan, Lewis, and I don't even remember who the fourth guy. I think Dwight King It's just not very good. But our third line comes in so clutch this game. You guys will see throughout this episode or throughout this game. This guy did play really good, and our defense has been really been struggling. I probably need to change my strategies and just overall better defensive play. But again, guys, I want to show you guys the Hut series that I go from a average team, or I'd say this is probably a bit below average, because most people average team have all 84s, something like that. I have a bunch of 81s, 80s on my team. So I want to go from a below average team, obviously in my skill and gameplay, to my actual team, to an above average team, and get all the superstars and just make an overall like all-star of a team, as you can tell by the, the logo and stuff like that. Having like Crosby, Ovechkin by the end of this year would be really sick. And obviously winning the Division One title is something I want to do as well. Next off is I want to probably show some, obviously, packs, which I've been doing. And I want to show you how I've been making coins the best, because I've made some really, really good deals and steals and... 
I went my I made my coin profit go from like 85k, which is what I had when I sold Carter, from working the market for around eight hours or so to over 390k, which is pretty insane because I haven't I spent some money on packs as well, and I got this one player who I'm not gonna say, you guys will see in a future episode, who went for quite a lot, so he helped the market as well. But again, just my coins from working the market, I made over 215k. So that's pretty insane for only eight hours. And I'm happy to say I know most of the players' values, so that's really helpful so I don't have to constantly like say what is he worth what is he worth that's what I mainly been doing I want to get more into hut games I had a live commentary for the first episode but my Elgato completely messed up the audio as well so I couldn't even show that so there will be live commentaries live pack openings this one's not a live pack opening there was a live pack opening for the Carter on the previous one though if you guys have seen the video but again guys we're gonna actually take our points which we acquired we had four points overall and we're gonna take three of those so we're gonna have one point remaining left over and we're gonna change one guy in our team he's a second liner he's an 85 overall he's not 86 overall he's an 85 with the assistant captain card and we're gonna change three of those points and we're gonna make him number 81 from the newly acquired Pittsburgh Penguin Phil Kessel Phil Kessel welcome to the Deke history sometimes we forget why we're here it's easy to fall off track these help us remember Something no one else could see Tell me what it means when your faith is falling beneath your knees And you can't breathe Everything you see reminds you of what you know Is something you won't be You gotta take what you're given That's how we live it Don't be mad at the system It's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business Not because they wanna do it Just because they heard it pays And who the fuck wants to be poor Knowing that's how we've been raised Society is getting heavy I can feel the weight The pressure of success is like a hundred million pounds of shame And that's the reason I'm staying up late Trying to find a way to escape The stereotypes this day and age Is making me feel like the only way I'll be happy Is getting signed to a label and making money through rap Do I want to be Our impressions of everything that it is